All right, guys, welcome back to the Jay Douglas Show. I've got Mary Maloney from sunny California. And uh, you know what? I think that I could say all wonderful things about her, but what do you want the world to know about you, first of all? Where are you at? Give them some context. Brag a little. Oh, my gosh. You're yeah. so funny. Uh, we are in San Diego, California, and I am a wife. I'm a mom. I am a rosé lover, and <laughs> I love that. Uh, I'm a Navy vet, and uh, we have a small boutique brokerage in North County, San Diego. We were the number one team in North County, and uh, we were also on Inman's 101 Most Influential list. Oh wow, that's awesome! Yeah, so that's us. Congrats, congrats! So. So tell me, what, is, what does number one mean there? Like volume units, because a lot of this audience is like, like back in Tennessee where we sell like little, little shacks with a toilet and an outhouse and that sort of thing. What, oh what are you God. selling? What are you selling? So in North County, San Diego, I would say our average price point, single family detached home is about 650. Okay. Uh, and over the course of the last 10 years, we've sold a thousand houses equaling a half a billion dollars in production. That's not bad. Yeah, Congrats. serving a million fam or a thousand families is very meaningful to us. That we've been a part of a move, a sale, a journey, something that was very significant in someone's lives, and so that's really special to us. Having served a thousand, I families. can tell you care and you love. A lot of people say how many houses, and you say how many families you served. I think that's worth noting. So cool. Yes. All right, so we're here at this big real estate event. Yes. Um, what I like to ask for a team leader, broker owner like yourself, is not so much right now, what are you, what are you um, doing, but when you come to this event, you come with thoughts, ideas, hopes, dreams. What yeah. did you come, what was going through Mary's head to figure out, like, what do I want to take away from this event? So coming to this summit this year, I was really thinking in my mind, I needed some new inspiration. I needed some new ideas. I needed to come, my background is in marketing. And so I think we kind of get caught up in this real estate as usual type mm -hmm. of marketing and it just keeps rolling. Uh, just listed in escrow, just sold, here's the market data. And so I was coming looking for some new inspiration when it came to that. But what I really found at this year's summit was I was thinking about it the completely wrong way. And that what I needed to be searching for was a new point of view. Mm. Not what does the direct mail piece say, but what was our point of view that we were trying to get across to the consumer. And so finding that new point of view is now the number one priority on my top 10 list that we made of the things that we need to do. And also, one of the biggest things I took away was all these things that we have to do as realtors, right? Um, there's Facebook, there's Instagram, you have to do direct mail. Uh, are you doing your calls? Are you doing your inspiration? Do you have a powerful morning routine? Like, there are all these things that we need to be doing. And sometimes it's very easy to say, I didn't have time. I didn't have time. I don't have time for that. I don't have time to post on Instagram. I don't have time to post on, on Facebook. And someone today said, every time you think you don't have time, there's someone busier than you that did it. Fair enough. And so that really stuck with me looking at the people that were on stage on the $7 million panel. When I think, oh, well, they just have it all down right? Or they just have the systems in place. They really are busier than me and still find the time to do the things that need to be done. And so that just, it just stuck with me. And so that's, that's kind of my mantra moving forward. I, I love that. I love that. And I think I, I was thinking today, it hit me. Um, someone said on stage, they mentioned like the word stock market. And we were talking about how companies go up and down and they have their pros and their cons and their mm -hmm. failures. And, and I thought, you know, the stock market does that, right? It goes yep. up and down, you have those, and they're like major companies. I mean, I'd say yeah. you're a really big company, you did a half a billion dollars in sales, right? Yeah. But then you look at some of these really big companies, and I think, hey, those are people too. It, we just look at it as like a dollar sign going up and down. Those are right. people too, and they're making, they're making decisions mm -hmm. every single day that help change their business. So right. you're saying even like a really successful business 
has some change they have to go through and some adversities to fight. Right. Right. Absolutely. That's yeah. awesome. And I think, I think we as leaders, team leaders, broker owners, we are the ones that have to be looking ahead. Um, you know, we started as an independent brokerage in 2008. Great time to start a real estate company. Um, <laughs> especially in California. Especially right. in California right. in 2008. Right. But, you know, being able to be ahead of those market shifts. Mm -hmm. uh, I had done my first short sale in 2006. Mm -hmm. So by the time they came in 2008, we were already doing 50 a year. So we were ahead of that curve and being able as leaders, it's so important to come to events like this, have somebody that has pulses in different parts of the world, really, in different industries and can help guide us so that we can help guide our team as well as our clients and our communities about what's happening next in the next 18, 24, 36 months to be that advisor mm -hmm. to really help them through and guide them through the rough waters that are ahead. So who you know matters. Absolutely. Absolutely, right? And awesome. I know him. Oh, I wouldn't go that far. <laughs> so, okay, Mary, so tell them this. Uh, one last thing here. Let's think like, what's one thing you can give the agents out there? Like the salespeople who are out there grinding every single day. They mm -hmm. don't have to worry about being a team leader. They're just trying to figure out the big picture. What, what What's a nugget you could throw at them? Mm -hmm. So I'll tell you what my team was talking about at lunch today when I was asking them what were their biggest takeaways. And their biggest takeaways were video, video, video. Oh, is that important? Yes. <laughs> and to stop worrying about being perfect and being authentic is the number one thing to be. So just do it, don't overthink it. And whatever you put out there is truly you. And this is the way we look. So. That's it, awesome. It, it's not going to be perfect. So awesome. that was the biggest takeaway. Oh, I think it's great. I appreciate you being here. Thank you. Thank Love you. you. So glad to have you on board. Thank and you. Uh, thanks for watching. Thank you.